One computer trend I can get enthusiastically on board with is the recent run of ultra, ultra thin laptops, ones that get down to 10 millimeters or even less. The Acer Swift 7 is the new king of that very slender hill, coming in just a hair thinner than its main competition. This 13-inch Windows laptop is just 9.98 millimeters thick, while the very similar HP Spectre is 10.4 millimeters, although you'd be hard-pressed to really see a difference between them. The 13-inch Swift 7 is actually thinner than some of the new 12.5-inch screen laptops. The Acer ZenBook 3 is 11.9 millimeters. Even the 12-inch MacBook is 13.1 millimeters. It's far from the thinnest out there. And what about the granddaddy of thin laptops, the MacBook Air? Well, it's a monster compared with these at a whopping 18 millimeters thick. All of these super slim Windows laptops get that way in part because of what they leave out. All are locked to relatively unimpressive 1920 by 1080 resolution displays and all lack a touchscreen, which allows their bodies to be thinner. The Swift 7 looks great, and every time I pulled it out, people wanted to see what it was. The touchpad is extra wide, which is nice, but keep in mind, like most super slim laptops, the only ports you get are USB-C ports. Now, I can live without a touchscreen or higher resolution, but two things bugged me about this otherwise impressive laptop. The tiny keyboard keys didn't really have that tight premium feel I'm looking for, and the new processor, a low-power Core i5 from Intel's latest 7th generation of Core series chips, was a bit on the pokey side, although it's certainly fast enough for everyday computing, streaming, and web surfing. 